Hey, friendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. It's that time where we take a look at the latest pay-per-view and the latest yeah. Wrestling Observer Newsletter, the yeah. definitive. Mm. This it's it's look, Dave Meltzer's opinion has moved beyond opinion into Yes, Larson, you have a, your hand. We have our, our own star rating. So Right. And the goal is one day for our ratings to be definitive. But unless until we've been doing this for 50 years like Dave Meltzer, he started when he was like three years old, you know. It's not true. Mm. Luthez versus Ricky Dozen. Three stars. <laughs> I mean, 50 years ago was still well after their careers. 50 years ago was 1973, Steve. <laughs> Don't remind me. Let's get this thing started. We're looking at Forbidden Door. And Larson, you're on the hot seat today. You have to guess Dave Meltzer's right. star rating Oof. for Forbidden Door. And listen, man, you parent, you've, you've, you've full disclosure to me. You said that you already uh, saw, I, I accidentally spoiled yeah. the, the Osprey Omega match. That'll yeah. be my lone yeah. Uh, uh, attempt to guess today. However, I have the newsletter in digital form in front of me. Unfortunately, I don't subscribe to the paper newsletter. Uh, if you did, and, your uh, office would look like Dave's. Right? Yeah, I know exactly. It's it's on its way. I got a plate. I got a I got a dog. I got like clothes. Um, <laughs> it's like it's like people look at this. They be like, "Man, did his wife kick him out of the bedroom?" <laughs> anyway, in his office. I know exactly. I've got the pre-show in front of me, oh, so good, we're going to do good, the pre-show good, good, as well. Good, good. So we're going to start off with this: the mogul uh, embassy, Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Bishop Khan, and Swerve Strickland defeated Chuck Taylor, Trent Beretta, Rocky Romero, and El Desperado. Here's uh, one sentence out of the, the the most editorialized but this is mainly just like reading what happened okay uh okay it, it, this is the close thing to an edi editorialized all right romero rocky romero did his always well-timed backslide for a great near fall and there was the strong zero on strickland but he was saved how many stars did dave melts that's the only editorialized in there oh, wow. is here he added some adjectives. Yeah. Three stars. To, to describing stuff. Uh, close. Three and a quarter. All right. Next up for the Owen Hart tournament. Owen. Athena defeated Billy Starks. Well, that was good he gave this one sentence, and it's just this. Starks missed a top rope moonsault to the apron, and Athena beat her with a turnover slam into a knee. That was simply descriptive. That's the only sentence he wrote about the entire match. Correct. That was a really good match, Dave. How, according to him, I don't know. How many stars did he get? Three and a quarter? Two and a quarter. Get the fuck out of here. Well, the last one was three and a quarter, and he wrote, and he wrote three sentences on it, so the math kind of holds there. No, Dave's Moving math on. in terms of rating that match doesn't hold. That match was good. <laughs> Two and a quarter. Get out of here with that, Dave. Next. El Fantasmo defeated Stu Grayson. Uh okay, here we go. This here, here this is some editorializing. Here's some actual right, editorializing. Good, good. This match was also cold since neither is featured on AEW television. I'll, I'll actually extend this to the second one. Both are Canadian and Phantasmo got a good reaction as this crowd was into real New Japan guys. Into real New Japan guys. Two and a half. Three and a quarter. He did say, I probably should have added this one. Basically, this was all great moves, but they didn't have the time to build a great match. <sighs> Moving on. Shingo to immediately. Dave Meltzer is is vexing you. Yeah, I'm, he, he's in the doghouse right now. Dave is. All right. Uh, How do we'll you give you get... that Athena Billy Starks match two and a quarter stars? It was prob It was the best match on the pre-show. Uh, he docks stars for being women. Next up, Shingo Takagi and Aromu Takahashi, unless it's in stardom, uh, and Aromu Takahashi and Bushi, Bushi. otherwise known as Los Ingobernables de Japón, defeated the United Empire today. today. Jeff Cobb, Kyle Fletcher, TJP. Uh, here we go uh, with some editorializing. Uh, this was great action, but in trying to fit four matches into an hour, only the first match had the time to really develop. Just as a reminder, he gave the first match three and a quarter stars. Three and a quarter stars. Three and a half stars. 
<laughs> the difference between that one being given time to develop and this one not being given time to develop is a quarter star. Oh my gosh. All right. Maybe you'll have better luck here on the on the actual show. Maybe you and Dave will be more synergistic on the actual show. Kicking off with MJF, also known as Majef, retaining his AEW title against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Uh his uh oh, okay, here's some editorializing. All right. I'll bet this is the only pay-per-view where the AEW title is defended in the opener, and it probably was the best place to put it. (sighs) Dave really likes Tanahashi. He does. This match wasn't great. I'll go three and a quarter. Very good. You're on the board. All right. What's up, everybody? This is Stone Cold Steve Austin impersonator Phil McDonald with a reminder to go to friendoshop.com for the new purple Frendo line. That's right. Old designs and new, all in purple. And you can use promo code PURPLE to get 20% off site-wide. Go to friendoshop.com now or get hit with a Thez press and a stunner. Next match. Next match. CM Punk defeated Satoshi Kojima in the first round of the Owen. Owen. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to see some editorializing here. Ah, okay. All right, all right. So I'll give you two sentences here. All right. Um, he's just sort of describing things. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, New Japan fans who knew that was Hiro, uh, Hiroyoshi Tenzin's spot. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry, sorry. Kojima came back with the machine gun chops and the elbow off the top rope that nailed Punk in the groin, which I've never seen happen before. Apparently did that to Goto in a match. The heat was off the charts here. Oh. There's your big clue. The heat. You know Dave loves heat. Three and three quarter. Heat. Four stars. I gave this match good good rating, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm closer to becoming observer. I don't think either of us uh, were anywhere close to four stars in our star range. I don't, I don't you gave this match gave three stars. Because it, de- it deserved three stars. <laughs> uh, anyways, three quarter, uh, let's see. Not, th- not four. All right. Next. For the international AEW oh, title, really Fatal Four Way, Orange Cassidy, Zach Flavor Jr., Katsuyori Shibata, and Daniel Garcia. Uh-huh. The dancing, the dancing machine. Uh, here we go. Here's a great, great editorializing here. All you need is just one sentence. This was great, particularly Saber, but didn't have time, didn't have the time to hit its peak. It was, it was only, apparently it was only 11 minutes and 30 seconds. They got a lot in. All right. I felt like they would have gone 16, but yeah. Four and a quarter. Four stars. What do you do? Next. Next. What do you do with Dave? He gave that match the same as CM Punk's match. That's that's weird. Ridiculous. That's weird. Ridiculous. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Next, uh, Sonata retained the mm. IWGP mm. World Heavyweight Title over Jack Perry in ten minutes and forty two seconds. Uh, yes, okay, here we go. Have enough time to hit a stride, huh? Here we go. This was a great athletic style match, but nobody thought an IWGP title match would be this short. <laughs> He is obsessed with time here. He is. What do you expect, yeah. Dave? There's 14, 20 matches on the card. Yeah, dude. There's 2014 matches um, on the card. Three and a quarter. Three and three quarters. He gave this almost the same as the international That's match. Ridiculous. That's bunk. Ridiculous. Yeah, that match, this match was kind of boot. This, this mid. Uh, it was just middle of the road. It was so mid. It was very mid. Yeah, it never should have happened. <laughs> All right, next up. Next up. Uh, Eddie Kingston and Tomohiro Ishii. And the Hung Bucks defeated John Moxley, Claudio, Wheeler Yuta, Shota Umino, and Kanosuke Takeshita in 21 15. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So here's some editorializing. All right. Ishii and Takeshita were going, were going nuts, doing all the hard hitting Ishii stuff. There was a big pop for Moxley versus Kingston, and they traded chops. Uh, the crowd was super hot here. Paige got a great hot tag doing a plancha on Yuta. Uh, that's all the editorializing you get. Five stars. Two, three. Close. Four and three quarters. Damn, I, almost, I was just about to say four and three quarters. Too. He gave this the same rating as the, the best uh, HBK versus Undertaker match. Uh, next up. Don't remind me. Uh, 
Tony Storm defeated Willow Nightingale to retain the AEW women's title. Let me guess, not enough time. Uh, well, hold on a second. Well, no, actually, match placement. This was a terrible spot for them following the prior match. Uh, that's all the editorializing here. Three and a the quarter. The rest is just very good. You're yeah, okay. Three and a quarter. You got two on the board. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, so the next you one. Know, the next, next one. one Osprey yeah, Omega. So yes, I accidentally had this spilled for me on social media this morning. Okay. Uh, all right. The opening sentence of this one. There were a ton of people who said this was the best match they had ever seen or the best match ever in North America. You could certainly argue it for that spot or as the best match in AEW history. Five and three quarters. You're so close. Oh, did he give it six? He gave it six stars. Okay. All right. I should have. Yeah. Okay. I should have. I didn't know if he was going to. Didn't go. It was really, he likes long matches. Though. And he loves Osprey. And he loves Osprey, yeah. Yeah. I just didn't know if he was gonna go all the way with it. Yeah, he, he went did. all the way with it. He did. Apparently, what did he, Do you remember what he gave what? The their uh Tokyo Dome match? More than five. I, I want to say five and a half, but I could be wrong. Apparently, oh, he didn't go the full six. He thought so. this was better than that one. Apparently, okay. Will Osprey now has the most five star matches by Dave's ratings in history. Yeah, that's not surprising. Who had the record before him? Uh, Masala. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. And moving on to uh, your favorite match of the card, and I say that sarcastically, Sting and Darby Allen and Tetsuya Naito defeated Jericho, I'm sorry, the Le- Suzuki gods. Um, okay, here we go. This had a hell of a time following the prior match. Still, the crowd was super hot for the first Jericho versus Sting confrontation, and they treated Naito like a big star as well. Uh... If this gets more than one and a half stars, then I, I don't I don't know what to think anymore. The rest is simply yeah, explaining stuff. One and a half stars. Three stars. That's what I gave it. I think. I think I gave it three stars. It's, that match was not good. I am now the new wrestling observer. That match right, was not let's good. Move on. It was not let's good. Move on. Let's move on to the main. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. This main event. Brian Danielson versus Kazuchika Okada. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, I'm trying to find some uh, editorializing here to justify this score. Uh, <laughs> Is it higher than than one would imagine? I'm not gonna give you any. You're, you're, dude, you already you already got two. Yeah, that's two out of what? Hints. Twelve so far. That's not a good percentage, Steve. Guessing what this this dude is fucking thinking is <laughs> is a tall task. It's man. difficult. Yeah, it is. Uh, dude, this is all just describing stuff. All right, give me one sentence of him describing stuff because at least maybe if there's some uh, superlatives or some hyperbole, I might get a better clue on 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 what he thinks. Okay, I'll give you I'll give you something to work with here. All right. Uh, okay 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 here we go here we go okada did his running dive over the barricade and not only barely cleared it but dove into a very narrow aisle like this is a great spot when he's got a large clear portion in a japanese arena but it was so cramped here it could have gone way wrong i'll try another one okada did a tombstone on the ramp and hit the randy savage elbow off the top danielson started doing convulsions which i guess was to get the doctor in there to check on him Danielson had his right arm basically useless from this point on. Yeah, this is just the rest describing. is literally just describing. Wow. Yeah. He loves yeah. Okada. He loves yeah. Danielson. Warm, warmer, warmer. Four and a half. Five and three quarters. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> he gave this a quarter of a lesson, Omega Osprey. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? No, never mind. Sorry, four and three quarters. Oh. Sorry, my bad. Ooh. I was reading that wrong. All right. COVID brain. Wow. <laughs> what did you say it was? What, four you and a half. Four and three quarters? But, okay, you were close. Four and three quarters, yeah. Gee whiz. Writing's so small. I need to start zooming in because I'm old. Oh, you need oh, some reading glasses now. That makes it better. No, I just hit control and then I go up with my mouse. Oh, and, and then it zooms in. It embiggens it, yeah. <laughs> wow, Dave. <laughs> yeah, four and three quarters. There's some, yeah. some beguiling scores there. I don't know how you could give the, that, that match preceding the main event. Anything more than two stars, honestly. That goes oh, for yeah, you, dude. too. Oh, shit. I'm in the doghouse. You're in the doghouse yeah. as well over giving that match any more than two stars. That was not a good match. Well, you know what, man? 
You did good. You did two out of fucking whatever. How two many out of man? thirteen? I think. Two out of thirteen. That's not good. Right. That's the opposite of good. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. I know. I have a tougher task though because I've only got seven matches coming up at the uh, Money in the Bank pay per view. Oh, yeah. So you know, like I'm gonna have to get to get to your percentage. I'm gonna. You only need you know, one to get, to get to my percentage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need two because one like it's... one ties because two out of fourteen yeah, is ties. equivalent to one out of seven. Yeah. Well, I guess one. Did you do 13 today 13, or 14? 13, sorry, yeah. So you do need two, yeah. Yeah, I need two to beat you, but it beats you by a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one all, nearly one double almost me gets to you. Two almost doubles you nearly up. Nearly yeah. doubles Ooh, that's going to be tough. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Pressure's on, Steve. I know, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyways, let us know what you guys think about Dave Meltzer's star ratings. Uh, and in the comments below, hit that thumbs up, the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye.